A closer look at the mosquito reveals a head, thorax, and abdomen, which make up a three-segmented body. The head is rounded and contains a pair of compound eyes. Contained within the compound eyes are hundreds to thousands of ometidia or small lenses. Compound eyes assist in the pursuit of a host blood meal. The head contains antennae and mouthparts. Sensing movement in the air, antennae are hypersensitive as to allow a male to differentiate between a female's wing beat and that of another male. The male's mouthparts allow for nectar feeding, while the female's mouthparts allow penetration to capillary beds and robust blood feeding. Divided into three subregions, the thorax consists of the prothorax, toward the head, the mesothorax, in the middle, and the metathorax, toward the abdomen. Attached to each subregion is a pair of legs. The mesothorax contains spiracles that allow gas exchange between the body and the environment. Trachea tubes deliver oxygen to the tissues. The mesothorax contains a pair of wings. The metathorax contains halters in the form of a knob or club. Halters vibrate up and down with the wings and act as gyroscopes or flight stabilizers. The abdomen is divided into ten segments, each segment, except the first, nine tenth segments, contains a set of spiracles. Contained by the ninth segment is the gonopore or aperture of the common oviduct through which eggs pass during oviposition. Contained by the tenth segment is the female or male reproductive organ depending upon the sex. Knowing these phlebotomist feeders will stop the buzz, squish, and splat, for your customers. 